third of this movie's runtime is dedicated to him repeating the like same thing. I feel like y'all haven't seen these before. No, man. No, no, Mark, Mark, no. You, let me saw Boo One. Mark, Mark, you, saw. you ain't seen these. <laughs> you ain't seen these, Martin. <laughs> you know... I'm a, I'm a dear story. Hey, I'm man. A, Tyler Perry's Boo 2. Oh, I'm sorry. It's always Tyler Perry first. God yeah. damn it, man. Even Medea comes second to Tyler Perry. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> now, I would have gone to see this, but I never saw the first one, and I didn't want to go in and be lost. Oh, you know what, Martin? There's a lot of deep, dense details in these movies that you don't want to yeah. walk in cold and you don't want to miss. So I'm glad you're here. Because, I, I, you know, it is a Tyler Perry movie. It is your responsibility as a black man to be a part of the Tyler Perry universe. <laughs> I feel like it's the opposite, but go ahead. No, Martin. Let me cause see. Let me tell you something. Let me catch you up on something. Now, a year ago today, yeah, I remember it like it was yesterday. I remember it like it was a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> and what happened is we had the world was given the gift of boo. I'm sorry, Tyler Perry's boo. Medea. Without a gift receipt, yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <And> we, <laughs> Did I return this? Nah. <laughs> and we didn't want to because as much as we know these Tyler Perry movies don't mean that much, we were just like, it was fun. We gave it a rental. Yeah, yeah. we all gave it a rental. Yeah, yeah, we had a good time mm-hmm. with it. And we said, you know something? Man, we can't wait. To, we came out and said, we can't wait till next year. I don't know about that part. <laughs> another, well, you, you, you feel like you said that. <laughs> yeah. Well, you being a white person, I understand you don't have the kind of attachment that we do to support oh. our community. Oh, is that what it is? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. We don't have too many black holidays. When we have like, like Madea Halloween, mm-hmm. that is a black holiday for us now. Okay. So we couldn't wait to have another one. And now the time has come. Da, 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 boo to TP's boo to. <laughs> Medea Halloween is here. And Martin, let me fill you in. Now, the last one dealt with uh, Brian, played by Tyler Perry. His, his daughter wanted to go to this frat party, and she was too young to do that at the time. But, you know, with Brian being such a milk toast dad and her being such a, uh, a, a headstrong daughter, skank, and she, she decided to go anyway. So then this whole thing happened where... Frat guys decide to prank Madrid for trying to ruin their fun, mm-hmm. you know, because she had to intervene. Of you course. don't get your fat ass out this house. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so this time with this movie here, it turns out that not only Madea and the old folks gang is being pranked, but the <laughs> frat boys are being pranked too. What well, now? Now here, here, here's the deal, Gertz. Corey, if the if the frat boys are being pranked. Mm-hmm. As well as Medea and all folks getting the, who's doing the pranking this time? <gasps> Nobody knows. <laughs> Do you see how they raise the stakes up, Martin Thomas? So it sounds like the first one was a Scooby Doo plot. Oh, Martin! But I now mean, this one, Martin, I, Martin real. put a dollar in the Scooby Doo job. I tell you, time Scooby Doo's brother, we gotta get Rogers. <laughs> <laughs> You're wrong, me, Ronnie. <laughs> we'll let it slide, but we got you on credit now. Every time we're Scooby Doo, Scooby Doo tab. Al- yeah, Lannister pays his debt. I, I know. I already put in my dollar last week, so hey. Uh, by the way, I'll take payments for Scooby. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> but now here's the thing that baffles me. With this movie right here, we gonna like we gonna get into it. <laughs> I never looked up the budget for the first Medea. I it matter. It no, Martin. It does because I thought, well, this movie it's probably not even a million. I mean, they had limited location. They had oh. you, YouTube stars. Shot with an the, iPhone. Yeah. <laughs> you know they. Yeah, they, I didn't think it was that much. Uh, I still don't know how the, how much the first one costs. But I looked at the budget for this one. Yeah. And I said, ain't no goddamn way that Boo 2 Medea cost $25 million. Holy shit. I, I'm sorry. I got this so small. You couldn't see if I blew it up. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Uh, the magnifying glass. Yeah, no. <laughs> the teeny, teeny no. budget. And then, look close, people. You sure that's not pesos? That's yeah. The, yeah, no. <laughs> this is a mischief night prank. There's no fucking way. <laughs> that doesn't say $25. It doesn't say 25 pesos. It says $25 million. Dollars. A million. Tax dodge. Yeah. Right? <laughs> 25 that's million that, pennies, maybe. That says to me that Tyler Perry has been running a long con. This is 
this is a laundering scheme that's yeah. going on right here. <laughs> because you look at the movie, I'm being serious. You say, where the fuck did $25 million go? It looked like all they did was go to the Party City store and spend like $900 yep. on generic ass costumes. Look at this, man. <laughs> some <Yeah>. spirit makeup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that costs money. Oh, yeah. That's Maybe right. some face paint. <laughs> yeah. Somebody yeah. picked up a, a Vin Diesel there. <laughs> yo, yo, that's a YouTube guy. Now, they're all YouTube. They're all YouTube. Oh, no, they're no, they're not. Some of them Instagram. <laughs> oh, oh, and there's a Vine star too. Oh, there's a Just Vine. You thought that was dead. Yeah. They're back. Vine doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> oh, it's a Halloween movie. Vine from the grave. Ooh, 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 ah. oh, I'm sorry. Boom, Medea. Man, they couldn't afford to like pay the royalties for like a Batman or anything no. like that. No. All these people are like cats. Mm-hmm. Penguins. I was waiting to see the Anne Frank costume, but it didn't pop up. Uh, no. I was disappointed, man. Anne Frank costs money. True. <laughs> True. <laughs> you know, any generic costume out there, motherfuckers don't even make sense. I saw a motherfucker with a Dracula cape and deer antlers. I was like, what the fuck is that supposed to be? <laughs> man. <laughs> the blood sucking deer. Yeah. Uh, I'd be afraid of that. <laughs> a vampire deer. <laughs> yeah. Blab. <laughs> I was like, man, they did, you can't tell me this movie cost $25. Million. I mean, well, I'm sorry. That was a Freudian like slip. It cost $25. Yeah. I'm looking at the clip. I see $25 right here. Yeah. Here's the other thing where I'm thinking this cannot be $25 million because with this, and, you know, I'm looking at it. First of all, this man, Tyler Perry, I look, brother, you got some kind of game going on. I don't know what it is. And I, you look, whatever you have going on, that's between you and your money. But you got to be taking most of this money. This movie, I will give you this. It costs yeah. a million dollars. That fool pocketed 24. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It is a laundering scheme for Tyler Perry. <laughs> he like, y'all got me. Tyler Perry, the biggest drug cartel yeah. in yeah. <laughs> The only drug he's giving people is Medea. Yeah. Uh, hey, people are hooked on it. Yeah, though. people, yeah, black folks hooked on that shit. Out in the car. I need that Medea, man. It's been a year. I need my shit. And here's, uh, here's the other thing. I'm saying this because my man made the same fucking movie. It's the, you ain't fooling nobody, Tyler Perry. It's, Boo Medea one just reshuffled a little bit. Did you think he was trying to confuse us so that he made the same movie? I feel like he was yeah. just like, y'all know what this is. You yeah. know where you at? Here you go. Within he, the first 30 seconds, I was like, oh shit. It's, it's <laughs> We've seen this. It's the same exact note it's over the, and over again. Yeah, it's my thing. Ain't fooling nobody. It's the same shit that he did in the first one. You know, it's the same thing with Brian's old hoe ass daughter wanting to go to this. A frat party with these horny frat dudes. It's gonna be super creepy and scary. That's why it's gonna be lit. I'm so excited. Do you believe this? 14 murders? Why would they want to go to a party where people have been murdered? By the way, that part is so funny because the movie just stops to give you five minutes of exposition. <laughs> oh, it's even better because it's, five, it's one scene of five minute exposition, then another scene of five minute exposition, and then another scene of five minute exposition. Back to back to back about the same goddamn story. Yeah. <laughs> People got s- killed up here. We know. Yeah. <laughs> and it, and the, it's funny, too, because, look, Tyler Perry, we've seen him. We saw him in Gone Girl. The man's not a bad actor. But when he's giving that exposition, he's trying to throw in, like, parts of, like, angst. And he, he just can't act. Mm-hmm. He's like, she wants to go to this party without telling me. It makes me so angry. <laughs> I was like, damn, man. <laughs> you really don't give a fuck right now. You well, just want your money. He just yeah. can't act and direct at the same time. Yeah, I, I, I do believe that because there's other yeah. things. When he's on directing duty, he's neglecting a lot of other things that people want from mm-hmm. Tyler Perry. I ain't weird. People ain't asking much from Tyler Perry, but for the little that we are, you need to give that to us. Anything. Chitlins. That's all we want. Yeah. We don't want the full <laughs> meal. What is that? And on top of that, this shit, this shit here with that girl... That's why it's going to be lit. I'm so excited. She ain't learned a fucking lesson. No. Oh, so that's the same girl from the last movie? That's the yeah. same girl. Yes. What's her name? Diamond. Diamond White. Diamond White. Oh, no. That was kind of like the whole point of the first one is that she gets knocked down a peg. <laughs> this one's like, wow, it's like the first one never happened. And yeah. yet it's yeah. the same exact movie. She's like, I learned to love you, daddy. Next movie, fuck you, daddy. Yeah. Like, oh. You ain't shit, daddy. You got me headphones, yeah. broke ass motherfucker. <laughs> My name Diamond White. I got to strip a name. I do whatever the fuck I want to do. You know, she, the, they, 
<laughs> he did this whole epilogue at the end of Tyler Perry, boom, Medea one or whatever, where this they went through this whole thing where this girl learned this lesson. They did a whole after school special ending, and then yeah. this one, all that shit was out doing it. She ain't learned. She's still the same bitch she was in the first one. Learned a fucking thing. And this is only three hundred and sixty five days later. It's only a year later. Yeah, <laughs> it's like nothing has changed. The movie starts out with her pretty much saying, "Fuck you, dad." Yeah. yeah. You know? <laughs> well, she learned a lesson when she's with her dad, but then when she goes back to school, she's under the influence of her friends. No, he picks her up at school. Yeah. And, like her, her, and her friends are like, man, you're kind of a jerk to your dad. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, her friends are saying that. Yes. I mean, me, her, <laughs> one of her friends is a holy roller who's like, uh uh-uh, it's, it's Halloween. I'm going to church. Da, 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 da. Yeah. And, she, and so she's like, you're being really mean to your dad. Like, he, he's, he does this every year to surprise you. Like, you should be happy that your dad is willing to do this. Yeah. He's like, no, fuck my dad. He ain't shit. He's like, oh my God. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's corny and lame, but he means well. <laughs> he means well, and and then there's, and there's one girl like, damn girl, I'm gonna fuck your dad. <laughs> like, That's they, true. Everybody's <laughs> nice to Brian except his own daughter. <laughs> Well, not everybody. No. Either, but you know, the other thing was this too. <laughs> to be fair, Brian's a lame ass. No, yeah. man. You, 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 and when they're saying he's sexy, you got to keep in mind that Tyler Perry is right yeah. in the line. I'm so sexy as fuck. He's fun. calling himself sexy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Compared to Uncle Joe. I would fuck me. <laughs> it's weird because the dialogue in this movie is not well acted, so you're yeah. not thinking, oh, these are these characters saying these things. You're thinking, these are Ty- this is Tyler Perry saying these things. <laughs> yeah. So when he calls other men sexy, you're like, this is Tyler Perry. He's like, yo, Tito Ortiz, you Yeah. <laughs> and when he says this shit about himself he's like a black buffalo bill yeah. oh yeah i would fuck me <laughs> <laughs> we know you would well that was one month he was on the cover of men's fitness mm-hmm. oh yeah i guess he was working out not in this movie. not in this no, one, no. And, here, and here's no. the other thing it's like a beanbag Ty- chair oh hell yeah <laughs> Ty- look i ain't trying to even match it <laughs> jesus gertz <laughs> I was like, damn, man. like, come on, man. I'm not wrong. He's a doughy man. Yeah, no, nah, you gonna, I ain't going that far. I mean, I ain't saying Sue him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That motherfucker got money. I ain't gonna fuck with him. You guys are body shaming, uh, no. slut shaming. What's going on in this? Oh, I went, man, I went to the movie with somebody dear near to me, and we had a great time watching this. I mean, this dude, you think we bad. The the, the, the person I was watching it with even said, he beard shamed that motherfucker. He's like, look at that fucking beard on him. He's like, what is that? What is that a, a, a clown bum beard? <laughs> like, yeah, that edge sketch. Did you yeah, draw yeah, that? That's, that's magnetic. Shaving, Willy Willy. It doesn't look bad from here. But the thing with him is that really Tyler Perry, he wrote this script with his dick in his hand. Exactly. <laughs> because so, especially for a specific the, character. The only reason I'm talking shit about him is because he apparently thinks he's like God's gift to women. <laughs> well, I don't even. Or know, men. All right, he just uh, you know it's all you know he's playing all these different roles. He's talking about how sexy he is. And it's just not giving us exactly what we need from a Tyler Perry movie. And the other thing with it is that. You watch this film compared to the last one. Here's the funny thing about it. We were talking about how much time we spent in that living room. Yeah. <laughs> There's a part in the movie where it's Tyler Perry playing Brian, pretty pretty much Tyler Perry. Pulling his clumps. Yeah. Yeah. That's yes. my, uh, and Eddie Murphy. Yeah. Well, he's standing in that doorway right there, and it's pretty much the Tyler Perry variety show where he just stands there and just reacts to Tyler Perry in makeup. Well, that's all of those. Not like this one, though, man. Man, this is... This is no, not yeah. This one is... It, <laughs> you go in there... The movie's also... It looks cheap because he goes in that house and we spend about a total... If you put all together about 20 minutes in that living room while it's just jumping from one ver- old version of Tyler Perry to another just telling jokes. Girl, that breath smell like it's been in the Civil War. Anytime somebody got breath like that, honey, that bad, something's going on inside. That's gonna make me throw up. You know, and that... That goes on for... Like ten minutes at opening shot with repeat jokes. Yeah, with re Joe <laughs> repeats the same jokes. Yes, I'm a pimp. I'm a pimp. I'm pimp delicious. I pimp slap bitches. I'm a pimp. I'm a pimp. Like, like I'm a, a pimp. A, One note: a third of this movie's runtime is dedicated to him repeating the same thing. I feel like y'all thing. haven't seen these before. No, man. No, like Mark, Mark. No, you let me saw Boo One. Yeah, Mark, you, saw. You, you ain't seen these. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't seen these. Martin, <laughs> you know, this shit, and Tyler Perry just up in the doorway, damn, I can act. <laughs> <laughs> just looking at himself and just reacting. Mm-hmm. Oh. So every shot of Brian is like just like rolling his eyes. Yeah. Every single one. That's every one of these. Martin, those, you those ain't. Brian Mar- shots. Martin, oh, oh, Martin, 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 shut up. Shut up. I'm sorry, Martin. Martin reaction you shots make me laugh Martin, 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 you know what? You ain't a vet. You in the, you in the National Garden and see no shit. <laughs> 
We were in the Marines. We went to Iraq. We were in the shit. We were in the Man. shit. Still covered in shit. Yeah, so keep in mind, this this whole scene, all this is, is daylight. The movie doesn't get till nighttime where all the horror shit happens till probably about an hour in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we are in that living room for a good 10 minutes at the beginning of the movie just waiting for them to quit okay. ad-libbing. Okay. That's what they're doing, just ad-libbing. And... The the, and you, the the thing that really gets me is that they the, the, you talk about using the same locations. They even go back on that fucking dirt road. Yes. Where, where the last one with Madea was running from them zombies. Yeah. Hey, Mom, I'm scared of you. Ain't nothing out there. Madea! Yeah, I'm wrong with you. Oh, hell. Oh, Jesus. That same road. Mm-hmm. We on that road for about 10 minutes. I'm convinced this whole movie was shot on Tyler Perry's like, <laughs> compound or whatever the fuck he got out yeah. of I was going to say he probably bought, bought that property. Yeah, oh, no. He owns all of this. He, no, he did. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, he did because there's a... Look, I'm talking about Tyler Perry. Like I always say, I do respect Tyler Perry because Tyler Perry... Still? Has, I do. <laughs> I do. <laughs> hey, man, that's the ultimate hustler. <laughs> no, I do. My hat's off to Tyler Perry. Regardless of whatever I have to say about this movie afterwards, Tyler Perry not only has a compound, but he rents that shit out. So you shooting in Atlanta? Mm-hmm. You, I'm talking about how you should be on that dirt road, you probably gonna be on that dirt road too. That's quality. <laughs> Tyler Perry quality. Yeah, right. Which is not much. <laughs> I mean, they, sometimes in the movie, they even felt like they, technically the movie feels like it's it's off. I mean, there was a part, do you remember that part where they were shooting in the kitchen and it's, it looked like they forgot to cut the sound on? Yes. yes. And it was echoing like crazy. Yeah. It was echoing, and like they used the sound from the camera instead of the mics. Yes. yes. <laughs> Martin, we're not joking, man. They're making yeah. that face yeah. right now. Yeah, it was, I, I don't understand how he doesn't get better at all, even no. just by accident. If you don't have to, like, no, no, no get I get though? that. I get that how you, like, you, you figure like, why try? Mm. My audience likes these things low budget and to feel like it's on their level. Yeah. So I'm not going to do that. But it just seems, but at this point, he's made so many movies just by accident. Can I, can just, I answer that? Uh, if you're making money, why? Law what, averages. No, if you're making money, why give a fuck? Yeah. Sure. You know, it's like he pulled back. I think in one of his uh, movies, he just put it out as a joke. Man, I ain't going to put it. I'm going to put shit zero effort in this and see if mm-hmm. Negro is still going to show out. And they did. Yeah, <laughs> we're here. <laughs> that, that scene, like the audio, just sounded like people yelling in a bathroom, like it was, a public yeah. bathroom. It's, it sounded like this. Yeah. Hey, girl, we don't have to put this party together. You know, so y'all, hear the, y'all hear the way I'm in the back of the room right yeah. now? With reverb. With reverb and echo going on. That's what it sounded like. In the movie, but did he give a fuck? No, nope. because you gonna give your money. That was a shirt. That was a part where even the continuity is crazy. That was a part one of the YouTube guys took his shirt off in a tent, and then a, a creature showed up and he ran out, and all of a sudden his shirt was right back on with yeah. the chain and everything. <laughs> yeah, he was back in How did that happen? <laughs> and you know, furthermore, about downgrading in locations and using same locations. I mean, he really did save money by downgrading. They actually shot a lot of this movie in a field. Yeah. In grass, using that same blue spotlight from the last movie. That moon that looks like it's abducting people. <laughs> yeah, man. Have you ever have you ever seen lens flare from the moon? Yeah. I hadn't before this movie. It's like a goddamn spaceship is about to land. There was literally a part where they were looking out the window at the moonlight, and I was like, oh, God, <laughs> it was so bright. So what stops you from doing the same thing? What do you mean what stops me from doing the same thing? What is that supposed to mean? Just making a, a cheap movie like that. that Let me ask you, brother, what's stopping you from doing the same thing? No, but, 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 <laughs> you know, what's stopping any black person from going out there and picking up a camera? Because apparently we all can do it if we're talking about how cheap this is. But you've made a movie before. You know the ins and outs. Well, that's where you have to admire somebody like Tyler Perry because it is not just about making a movie. You know, a lot of these things are today about your business savvy, about how, you know, your marketing savvy. And that's the thing you really have to admire about Tyler Perry because, you know, by what we're saying right now, you it's, <laughs> man, I mean, I'm going to talk about that. We just saw a scene with some girl screaming. I'm going to talk about that a little bit. But, you know, with this, let me, let me just say this, too, because it gets even cheaper. They had one scene where <laughs> you were hit with. Oh, that, my God. <laughs> they had that one scene where that girl screamed and they used that clip twice yeah, to yeah. show you how much how many times he's not really using uh he doesn't care about his production now that's Tommy oh. Wiseau right there no it's a, it is some Tommy Wiseau shit going on <laughs> <laughs> they used that twice they couldn't even shoot that shit again I never thought I would say this but I was let down <laughs> yeah, After, by Tyler Perry yes by like by someone who actually enjoyed parts of the first one 
this one really let me down. Yeah, the thing is, is that it's it was it's it's kind of inspiring to see a person buck the system and make something lowbrow, low key, and inexpensive, and just have fun and make and, and go up against all these bigger movies that just don't have the same spirit. But this movie does not have the same spirit because it's as you said, it is so repetitive. And 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 and, and I have to say, I'm not going to say it's offensive, but a little bit. Coonish. <laughs> you know, oh, there's a lot of coonery going on. There's a lot here, of coonery man. going on here. That would be shocking if it's only a little bit. Nah, man. Listen, listen. The first one is like, all right, it's thrown in there, it's peppered in. This one is like somebody broke the shaker and threw that yeah. shit on top of it. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, yeah, they, they, yeah. It was <laughs> like you know they did that that salt joke with people. Yeah. Except you put coonery all over your frosted flakes. Now, the thing right here is that the reason why we say that is because it's repetitive in the sense that the movie's padded out with a lot of things. One of them being Half these the, the the old characters, Joe, Medea, Maddie, and who's the other Bam. one? Bam. Bam, yeah. Uh half the movies padded out with them just pointing at something that's scary. Yeah. And just and and, and then screaming with them big old coon eyes, ooh, and then running. I ain't scared of nothing. I don't like this. <laughs> you are right, little kid. <laughs> you know that's. Oh, are you fucking kidding and me? And you think like this movie is like, all right, they're gonna have some subtlety. They're gonna keep her face covered. And they're not gonna show anything. Keep up the horror. They show her face. Yeah, and it looks terrible. Yeah, it's oh, yeah. shitty ass makeup. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now I also have to say, while they're running from this ghost girl that's in there, that's another thing. They just picking up random creatures like it's the girl from the ring. Yeah, right. combined yeah. with these guys who, and it's worse with the because it's combined with a slasher movie. But the slashers just. Are thrown together their dudes in tank tops with gas masks and a chase. <laughs> yeah, overalls, <laughs> Over, yeah. overalls, overalls. Yeah. yeah, and you and and it's, they're not consistent with their rules. Again, I know that's crazy asking for that from a Madea movie, but like, let's just people. It's no spoiler. These are people in fucking mask. It is, <laughs> and the thing. There was a moment where the movie didn't even keep up with its continuity because they're like, this is old man like Holtz or old man like Hanks or something. Like, that's who he is. But then Medea goes like, oh, no, Derek's out here killing people. I was like, but you said his name was Hank. Yeah. <laughs> but even b- b- beyond that, there's a there's a moment where they are they are they real ghosts or not? Because, you know, they, they're people who are in costume, but Medea goes up to one robe and oh, puts her hand oh, on yeah, somebody's the face. I actually appreciated that scene. I was like, of all the shit we're seeing here, I was like, all right, that's kind of neat. Because it was if like, they had followed through. Through. If they did follow through that little yeah. girl, these people transport. Now these are people; these are average people in costume. Let's yeah. not forget that. I'm sorry if this is a spoiler for you, that, but that's your fault. That <laughs> Grim Reaper scene was the equivalent of the "get your fat ass out this house" scene from the first one. Yeah, yeah. it's like a real supernatural thing that they just do not explain, they don't explain. <laughs> or bring up again. It's like how they do that, and then they don't even address it at all. Yeah, it's not a person with a fake head. How did you no. go through their face? It's yeah. the same movie, man. Yes. You have that one yeah. thing that really doesn't is. make sense. Are the little girl, the 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 rain girl? There's actually a couple of them like how do you get hit by a car like that and then get up and continue with the prank and draw yeah draw blood there's, and draw blood there's blood on the hood of the car oh, how do you see them like a mile down the road an average person you speed off and they still there <laughs> you know they don't explain the superhuman abilities of these people it's so it's baffling tyler man. perry don't give a fuck you got your money <laughs> fuck writing I'm sorry, I can't write both hands. I'm just glad that none of us spent actual money contributing to this. Fuck you. you <laughs> <laughs> that was good. <laughs> we are getting reimbursed yeah. for this. <laughs> help us recoup this cost. <laughs> for 10 cents a day. Yeah. But then you can help Tyler Perry fund his next film. Yeah. <laughs> the eyes of an angel. <laughs> yeah, with that, like, it's that, it's that animal abuse video. Yes. Except the, the abused animals are us. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> or the actors that he cast in this. Yeah. Yeah. Please. These People have sat through two Tyler Perry movies <laughs> that they spent with their own money. <laughs> Here's the thing: uh, there's a character named uh, Hattie and Maddie. What Hattie? That's yeah. Hattie. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and, and she's played by an act, an actress named. Uh, uh, let me see what her name she's is here. Gorgeous. Like, In real like life, yeah, she yeah, is go- uh, Patrice Lovely. She's a gorgeous woman mm-hmm. and real fine as hell. I'm looking mm-hmm. at that picture right there. I, I'm in love with this woman, man. She got curves for days on her butt. In the movie. She's annoying because she tried too hard to have a list, and that's the problem with the film. We had that to see Medea, and they spent a lot of time while Tyler Perry is on directing and, and, and writing duty and everything else, mm. and, and serving sandwiches to the crew. You know, it's a, 
they concentrate on these other characters. And again, these other characters aren't doing any more than what the movie is requiring everybody to do. Mm-hmm. Then we spend time on them, not bringing anything new. Medea's the only one that has her brand of humor in here. Right. All these other characters are doing the same thing. Just ad-libbing, mumbling, lisping, and running after they see something scary. You stay here and you wait right here. I'm going to wait here. right here. Go on in there. All right. Ma? Yes? You still there? If I wasn't out here, Hattie, would I be saying yes? Jesus. My dear. Help me, Jesus, by the way. We just heard that from the last movie. Some black Three Stooges shit going on. Yep. You know, it, it, would, it wouldn't be bad if that wasn't the whole movie. Mm-hmm. Just re- repeating itself. And like we said, Joe repeats himself. I can't tell yes. how many times he says bitch, ho, ho pimp. pimp. But especially, yeah, pimp and bitch. He been dragging that by you. What is boost? Bitch, you. And, it's, and Joe's getting out of control, man. Oh, yeah. Joe's yeah, like six movies ago. Man, because there's a part in here with Joe and some other characters getting creepy. Like, yes. Uh, all right, there's man. There's a Cosby scene that creeps yes. up in here. There's a girl who's 17 years old, mm-hmm. and Joe talking about, yeah, girl, I didn't see that ass. Bring it on in here. <sighs> Bring them titties in here, girl. And I'm just like, it's a mess, man. Joe needs to slow down a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and and, then for, and and I'm gonna tell you something. It's starting to get to a lot of uh, the the Jesus fearing people of Tyler Perry's audience because his his jokes are getting nastier. Mm-hmm. Look, I'm fine with that, but a lot of people say, man, uh, Tyler Perry, you ain't really you're not you're not the same Jesus loving Tyler Perry. I know he talk like there's some jokes in there like, girl, put your teeth back in. You ain't going to work. Yeah. <laughs> and that that would <laughs> now Martin that would be funny. That would be funny if that wasn't after the, like, 10th pimp prostitute yes. joke. Yes, yes. God fuck <laughs> <it>. <laughs> I'm a pimp. I slap hoes and got my money. It was like, all right, we get it. Like, we got we got that maybe for two minutes in the first one, because I think he did say, like, a pimp joke. But in this one, it's over and over yeah. and over. And Joe Joe's lines take up, like, 20, 25 minutes of this sure. movie. He has a lot more screen time in this one than he did in the first one. Yeah, and oh, that's, that's unfortunate. Like I said, I saw this with uh, somebody who loves going to see these movies with me. You might hear from them later. But they, we love going to see these and just laughing at them. If he wasn't there, we would, I'd be having a miserable time with this film. We were making ourselves laugh because of how, of how bad this movie is. And, you know, we walked out. It was like, where was Medea? Wow. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of the same thing because it was me, Gertz, and Walter. So we all went and saw this, and we're like we're cracking up at stuff that's like not supposed to be funny, like the bright moon, the bright moon, yeah. Tito Ortiz being in here trying oh, to act. Tito, Tito Ortiz, Ortiz. Yeah. oh my you god, you can't just put Tito Ortiz in a movie and act like it's normal. You can't do that. Yeah, well, and the thing is, is like he can't because he's new to acting. He doesn't know like how to look at people. Like you're supposed to just stare at one eye when you're talking sure. to somebody, but he's like cross-eyed, so he's talking to one person and one of the eyes going this way. <laughs> maybe, maybe, Maybe he was all CG. That's always the problem we have with those. When we have like, a complete CG character that they can't hold the correct. That's icon what it set. seemed like. Because I was like, wait, that guy looks familiar. And I was like, holy shit, that's Tito Ortiz, and he's doing his, like this yes. god awful acting, not playing like some big dude that's supposed to be like Drax or somebody. Uh-huh. He's just a normal ass dad yeah. in the suburbs. And yeah. the weird thing about this is that Tito, Jesus. Or- yeah. <laughs> Tito yeah, Ortiz, yeah, man, Tito Ortiz can't act. He looked like he just got punched the fuck out and trying to say words. <laughs> yeah, know? and they, and they evolve him in a lot of exposition scenes. So oh, like no. you're like, oh Jesus, why did you do this? Yeah. <laughs> it's simple lines and he's supposed to say he can't say, Why'd you lie on me? I'm like, man, that's like five <laughs> words. <laughs> the, the you know, there's ghost in this and everything. And the thing that's really scary in this are these horny ass frat guys. Yes. Man. Every dude in here is a fucking creep. They are trying hard to fuck these young girls. Mm-hmm. I mean, they are really pulling some Harvey Weinstein shit. Please come back to my tent. Yeah. Please come back. It's gonna be alright. Please come back. Yeah. Yeah. And the way they're just begging to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and again, they're all YouTube and Instagram stars, yeah. so their acting is impeccable. Yeah, like who's a you, you... Fosse Tube? His Fo- name is Fosse Yousef. Yeah, Yousef, yeah. Mm-hmm. Fosse Tube. Yeah, he's in there. And the one... And I would give these guys credit, like Fosse Tube and uh, Yousef Fosse. You know, they... They just the same person. Yeah, I know, no, I know. I, I'm saying no, I know. I'm saying his full name. Uh, they, uh, they, they know how to have screen presence. You know, they, I, I would give them that because they have to actually be in front of a camera for a lot of the YouTube stuff that they do. So I, I, I think there's potential for them. They, they're overacting and whatnot, but they do act. And I don't look at them and like say, oh, they're terrible actors. Yeah. But they are on YouTube. When you start pulling Instagram people, people who take pictures <laughs> and don't talk, yeah. that's when it gets a, a little, a little bad. Mm. The, the, the horse, yeah, 
uh, what what's his name? I don't know. Uh, Brock Brock O'Hearn. Brock O'Hearn is a guy that got famous for being pretty. Yeah. And 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 oh, he was famous for uh, trending the man bun. That's what he's famous for. Acting? No. You there's a this motherfucker has no emotions in anything that he says. He says hi, and you you are not convinced that he means it. no. <laughs> you could have put. Blue googly eyes and a wig on a log, and yeah. got the same performance that you did at this man right here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm not even saying. Look, I'm I'm happy for anybody's success. I'm glad this man's famous, but he's famous for his body and his and his man bun, not for his acting. And he is horrible. You can't get one simple line out this motherfucker. Nah, uh, even when he should be like indignantly mad, like yo, you how are you following me? Fuck you, eat a dick. And he's like. Why are you following me? You're, you're a terrible person. Don't know. <laughs> I'm not a person who looks at a Tyler Perry movie with my nose upturned, who's talking about the art of filmmaking and how he's doing it so wrong. I'm not that person. If you're entertained and you can have fun with a movie, then that's what you're supposed to do. And Tyler Perry has provided me with, whether these movies are bad or good, has provided me with hours of entertainment. But this right here, I got to call bullshit on. Negro, when you don't even try... To make a proper sequel, which is, by the way, is not that hard. This is not a this is not a hard formula to go by, especially with horror. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, you know, when you know, the, I, the, the, you can only use the excuse of Tyler Perry making money and not being a great filmmaker so much, man. Sometimes, I mean, make your money, man. Do whatever you want to do. I'm, I, I still respect it for that. But this movie is just, I, I, you know what? I, <laughs> this is the first time I'm ever given because go watch it with a friend. Have some drinks, y'all have some fun with it, and y'all will have a fun fuck you. You'd be like, man, fuck you, Tyler Perry. I'm having I'm I'm laughing and everything, but really not because of your movie, because I'm fucked up and I'm here with a friend. Mm -hmm. And I'm laughing because I'm pointing every I'm pointing out everything that's wrong with your movie. It's not because of you. It's because I'm provide it's almost like B it's it's it's, it's almost like BYOC, bring your own comedy. <laughs> you know basically. Yeah. yeah. That's the only way that if I didn't have my friend there with me, I would be I would be huffing and puffing and moaning. I'd be bored of fucking this. And I'd be for some reason missing the original. Boo Medea. This is th there's no excuse for this, man. This is just lazy as fuck. Get your money, but this is lazy, man. <laughs> fuck you. This is a fuck you. Damn. I, I hope Tyler Perry's right about Heaven and Hell so he can spend a long time in the ladder. Fuck this movie. <laughs> this is a fuck you. I hated this shit. Telling you, man. Yeah. And I had fun in this, and I'm still saying fuck you. Uh, you have fun because of the movie, though. No. <laughs> but yeah, man. One well, of the that, that's, that's you guys, but Corey's a native of Atlanta. I Corey's not. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, your fault, right? <laughs> no. That is right. You, you, you are the one that is the ambassador for Tyler Perry. That's why it hurts to do this. Uh, uh, yeah, man. Uh, again, because of repeating things from uh, from the first one, they have a, a whole scene where Hattie's got to twerk again in the hallway, oh, or they bring out uh, oh, yeah. another the, one of the Instagram thoughts out there to twerk in front of a campfire. Like it, none of this shit makes sense, and it just pissed me off, man. Again, everything we laughed at was unintentional shit. Uh, it, again, it was uh, the scenes where we're laughing at it, or it's Tito Ortiz and Tyler Perry doing their thing. Uh, but yeah, man, this this is a hundred percent a fuck you. God damn you, Tyler Perry, fuck you. Yeah, and then you gonna have the nerve at the end uh -oh. of the movie to do a blooper reel. Yeah, but you you can't even tell the difference between the blooper reel and the <laughs> no. movie. No, I think it was only just to prove he did more than one take. Yeah, because I was like, oh, no way, fuck that. <laughs> hey, this shit, this whole movie's a fucking blooper. Yeah. Are you, are you, <laughs> When they pull that shit at the end, it's like, how fucking dare oh, wait. you? That's the second thing that was egregious, though, because this ends with kind of a cliffhanger. Yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah, like, so he's like, oh, you're getting a boo three. Man. Like, oh, this you ends know with, what? like, what? You're not going to explain? Okay, all right, bye. Man, if that's the case, I'm letting myself go off that cliff right now. <laughs> I'm ready to kill myself.